Hello everybody, um, this is going to be the astrology report uh, for the next week. Um, just uh, today, uh, there's a lot of things going on. Um, simply a lot of things been triggered today because uh, uh, the moon went back uh, all the way where the new moon was and uh, trigger all the emotions how you react on the right things uh, do you, you react to the, to the love or you reacted uh, of the ego is the anger and that was the final part of uh, uh, the last new moon which is was in cancer um what's going on uh, right now is that uh, we are on the front of uh, a brand new uh, full moon uh, on a brand new new moon, I'm sorry, not full moon, but new moon, um, that it's going to be uh, on Leo. And a lot of you uh, is going to be like, uh, well, here it is, it's, it's a part about me, uh, my emotions, uh, my feelings, uh, the part of... Uh, that uh, I will have that mother instinct, but that mother instinct uh, is going to be about me, uh, protection about me. Um, this is going to be your work. If you are at work, you're going to be like, uh, it's me, uh, it's my job, it is uh, my responsibility, I should have have more money, I should have more stuff, I do all this. I bust my butt off and a lot of you is going to have those triggers of that new moon uh, on it. There is one more thing though uh, with this new moon is that uh, during the new moon uh, Venus is actually also in uh, Leo and uh, the moon when it's on a fire sign uh, it creates a lot of tensions within the love specifically if uh, it's exactly in Leo and this uh, it's opened uh, the ego uh, to to be triggered uh, to be pushed uh, uh, for some of the signs uh, there is too much uh, air right now in the air going on uh, just to remind you that uh, the sun venus saturn and uranus who is actually already retrograde uh, they're all uh, in air signs uh, there is uh, so much fire going on right now and there is a reason for it it's you to get fire so you can uh, move some stuff within the soul currently um, the retrogrades are Saturn and Uranus uh, just uh, start the beginning this dramatic fast uh, changes in you uh, that's what uh, the universe wants the universe wanted to test you how flexible uh, are you are how um, how can you react uh, on a new how are you gonna react into the changes and if it's something needs to die during this check period I will say uh, it would have been helping you from uh, Mars who actually is gonna uh, cross uh, tomorrow the um, the border between uh, Scorpio and uh, Sagittarius. Uh, why today was a very heavy day? It's because uh, this was the last day some of you to get uh, the ego triggers and to clear stuff they need to clear that out on it. So let's uh, begin for Monday um, what's gonna happen that uh, uh, the moon's gonna actually enter uh, one degree of uh, Leo uh, there's gonna be some uh, um, well, we're talking about it's going to enter Leo uh, very, very late at night. Uh, uh, we're talking about like uh, um, almost uh, midnight. And uh, during that uh, position from the morning into changing its positions throughout the day, for it in the Cancer is going to trigger you uh, the old uh, stuff. Uh, the stuff that uh, happened kind of like you're gonna have a like a preview tomorrow uh, what did you do what did you did not do what happened you're gonna have uh, self-realization problems um, looking at in yourself 
and uh, when tomorrow night the moon actually move into Ligo, it's gonna be like, well, I didn't did these things for me, I didn't did this stuff for me, now I'm gonna do it for me. So, um, to uh, I'll begin a little bit more on uh, Tuesday morning, uh, the moon is gonna be uh, approaching very close uh, to the sun. Uh, it's gonna be at four degrees uh, and uh, six o'clock in the morning, uh, New York time. Uh, we're talking about and um, during the day uh, we're talking about on Tuesday it's gonna be slowly approaching the Sun uh, you're gonna start feeling those uh, uh, tensions on it uh, it's gonna start have this uh, like a, okay there is a two energies there is a two things in me there is a two things going on and you will see how like uh, we're talking about around noon uh, things is gonna be getting a little more intensified of the energy on it um, and about we're talking about about three o'clock or four o'clock uh, an afternoon on Tuesday uh, the new moon is going to be officially started and it's very important when the new moon officially getting started uh, what are the position of the planets are uh, because simply this is what uh, the lesson will be this is what uh, the journey will be uh, to move ahead to go up into it so to take a look at the picture and uh, the way it looks uh, Uranus is, uh, is going to be um, and trying with uh, Venus which is very good aspect because uh, it's gonna be the soul with the fire of love uh, it's gonna be very powerful uh, new moon specifically about uh, twin flames because uh, that's what that is uh, that's the universe will bring uh, the twin flame love and fire uh, the things gonna be turned in uh, on it the heat is gonna be turned on some of the twin flames will really really feel it uh, also what's gonna happen at this time uh, Mars exactly because see the moon is gonna be at 10 degrees 25 minutes uh, within the Sun and at the same time Mars is gonna be at 0 degrees 2 minutes uh, it's gonna be crossing that line from Scorpio to Sagittarius and it's very important uh, this because uh, it's gonna be okay you didn't kill whatever had to be killed when the Mars was in Scorpio well it's a new moon you can't kill this anymore it is what it is it's done it's time go move out move on whatever the story is and um, you will feel that pressure of uh, well I, I forgot to get this I forgot to get that well next time whatever the next time uh, Mars will be a Scorpio then you're gonna be trigger all those old stuff uh, to be cleared out uh, out of your life so uh, the other thing is that uh, Mercury it's gonna be over at Virgo uh, and it's gonna be uh, it's not gonna be exactly a position of uh, Neptune uh, but uh, it's gonna be in Virgo and uh, you're gonna hear a lot about healings you're gonna be talking about healings and to do healing work. Uh, Jupiter is gonna be on uh, trying with uh, Pluto. Pluto is a retrograde and uh, Capricorn, and those are very good aspect for this new moon because uh, there's gonna be that healing uh, going on for a long time, and it's gonna be very good uh, that growth with the uh, healing on it. Um, Saturn it's gonna be on uh, Sagittarius and Saturn is retrograde and this will bring the secrets the the things that need to be worked out uh, inside uh, hidden uh, they're gonna be in a meditation state and uh, it's a beautiful trine uh, between the new moon and uh, and um, 
saddened because this uh, this is going to be very powerful that uh, new moon to provide uh, this uh, peace uh, this uh, meditation for the soul uh, but also it's going to be uh, intensified uh, uh, that fire and uh, some of you will uh, feel this uh, tensions uh, some of you will feel this pressures from Saturn to tell you hey go out tell your secret go out say what you have to say go do what you have to do and uh, this pretty much is going to be the picture for the new moon uh, basically the lesson uh, it's going to be one thing uh, listen your love or uh, suffer uh, I would say like that uh, simply because uh, uh, the Leo it's uh, representing the ego and what are you going to listen are you gonna listen the king uh, which is, is the Sun uh, that uh, it's in trying with uh, Saturn and tell the right things at the right time or are you just gonna ignore everything uh, that's uh, going on so uh, we're talking about uh, on Wednesday Wednesday at 9 o'clock in the morning, uh, the moon is going to move. Uh, it's going to be moved 10 degrees away from the sun. It's going to be still on Leo. Uh, and you're going to start feeling the effects of uh, the new moon. You're going to start feeling uh, this uh, uh, push up. Uh, hey, I, I, wanted, uh, I wanted this, I wanted that. I, you know what, uh, I had enough of this or I had enough of that. Um, you need to be very careful with your emotions while the moon is in Leo because it triggers uh, things that you will probably uh, do or say things that later on can cost you a lot of problems or cost you a, a relationship or partnership or can cost you a lot of uh, things that you may lose and you may gonna need down in the road uh, On Thursday, uh, Moon is going to be crossing uh, in Virgo. It's going to get together with uh, Mercury, and uh, you will feel uh, during this, uh, specifically around three o'clock. Uh, we're talking about um, there's going to be some uh, opposition that comes in uh, with uh, Neptune. And it's going to be very strong and also there's going to be a square uh, towards Saturn and Mars and those squares uh, they're going to be very very tense because y again you know you have to either help uh, with healing or basically be quiet shut up otherwise you might say things like uh, so fire I mean, you may have a lot of aggravations on to. Uh, this is on Thursday. We're talking about August 4th. And on Friday the 5th, uh, the moon will move uh, over from almost to the last quarter of uh, the last third hour of uh, Virgo on it. And. Um, it's gonna be this slow down kind of like a very small slow down uh, within the emotions within the energy and you're gonna feel like uh, okay I need to calm down I don't have to be that angry I don't have to be uh, on that case it's gonna be how a very powerful trine with uh, Pluto which is in Capricorn and uh, it's going to be about this uh, mission that uh, you want to do, this service that you want to do. And a lot of you is going to turn out uh, either to become the service or either need the service to heal. Or one or the other, uh, it depends of uh, what you are doing. And the sixth, 
uh, we're talking about Saturday the moon will enter uh, Libra uh, let me remind you that during uh, the moon in Libra you're gonna feel this uh, harmony and peace uh, that Libra represents and brings um, around the the 3 o'clock p.m. it's gonna be happening like uh, the moon's gonna be in the first degree of Libra and here is the thing that uh, during that uh, position of the moon that moves uh, in Libra you're gonna be uh, start having this uh, revaluations uh, to do what uh, what you need to do uh, what kind of action you need to take um, each way you have to go if it's a relationship uh, what's the situation is if it is a partnership or a situation is you might also gonna end up uh, talking to someone of uh, what happened before what the things are and you might gonna ask for um, to settle the things up and that's why the moon during uh, this period uh, when it's in Libra it's very good to heal the stuff to solve the situations uh, between uh, people and uh, Sunday we're talking about August 7th uh, the moon exactly is going to be in the middle of uh, Libra and when it's in the middle, middle of, uh, of the Libra you gotta look at it it's going to be squaring uh, Pluto and and um, Capricorn but at the same time the moon actually is going to have a trine uh, um, it's not going to be a trine but it's a uh, 60 degrees uh, uh, towards uh, the sun so there's gonna be some uh, two opposite energies uh, I'm talking about two opposite energies of uh, um, Pluto who represents the the secret uh, but the secret as far as a uh, the unseen the unknown not as a Saturn who represents the secrets uh, that uh, they are known but not available to you uh, Saturn represents the secrets they are available but not for you they're gonna be available for you when it opens Pluto represents more the unknown more the force um, the unknown force the um, the power of Ra the, the power of the Sun that uh, uh, nobody seen it okay the Sun is a Sun but uh, Pluto represents that power, that uh, sign of the Pluto. If you take a look, the top is represents actually the sun, the, and the rest of them is that unseen force that comes down to the earth. And the moon is gonna be have that square, which is uh, gonna be uh, for some is gonna be tense. Like, uh, hey, did you did your job? Did you did your things? Uh, did you serve right? Uh, you should have could have what of uh, things will come up and uh, I hope this astrology report uh, helps you out uh, in your journey uh, thank you very much for watching it and uh, be loved see you next week